Welcome back to the review space. In this list, we look at the top 10 strongest Pokemon in second generation of games, including Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. This list will only include newly introduced Pokemon from Generation 2. Here we go. Number 1. Lugia. The second generation of Pokemon games began featuring legendaries on the box art and game cover, with Pokemon Silver displaying Lugia as its mascot. Possessing a base stat total of 680, Lugia is one of the two most powerful legendaries introduced in Generation 2. This psychic and flying creature packs an impressive 154 base special defense and 130 physical defense. Lugia is the master of the three legendary birds from Generation 1, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Lugia's signature move is Aeroblast, a powerful flying special attack that deals 100 damage and 95% accuracy with an increased chance of critical hit. Number 2. Ho-Oh. The legendary counterpart to Lugia, Ho-Oh is a majestic bird Pokemon featured in the cover of Pokemon Gold and apparently controls the three legendary beasts, Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. Its 130 base attack and 154 base special defense is tremendous, with a total 680 base stats. This makes Ho-Oh one of the strongest fire-type Pokemon in the entire series. Its signature attack was Sacred Fire, dealing 100 damage with a 50% chance of burning the opponent. Ho-Oh is said to fly around the world constantly with its rainbow-colored wings. Number 3. Tyranitar Much like Dragonite from Red and Blue, Tyranitar is a powerful non-legendary Pokemon with a three-stage cycle and appears late in the Pokedex. Featuring overall base stats of 600 with 110 defense, 100 special defense, and a massive 134 base attack, this type rock and dark Pokemon is a great utility sweeper to balance out the overpowered psychic types from Generation 1. Tyranitar's design greatly resembles Japan's powerful kaiju monster, Godzilla. According to the Pokedex, Tyranitar can crumble entire mountains in a rampaging frenzy and eagerly challenge enemies. Its list of natural attacks include Rock Slide, Thrash, Crunch, and Earthquake. Number 4. Entei One of the three legendary beasts, this fire-type Pokemon has 115 base attack and HP, 100 speed, and overall base stats of 580. Entei has a great design and learns the typical fire-based offense such as Flamethrower and Fire Blast, although its general moveset is somewhat limited in Generation 2. According to Pokedex entries, Entei was born from an erupting volcano and races across the land unable to contain its enormous power. As a roaming Pokemon, Entei was fairly difficult to catch as it appeared randomly across Johto's grasslands. Number 5. Raikou This type electric legendary is the counterpart to Zapdos from Generation 1. Possessing high special attack and speed in a base of 580 overall, Raikou is the fastest of the three legendary beasts. Its ability to deal high damage very quickly is its great advantage, being able to tear through opponents like some kind of thunderous tiger. Apparently, its bark sounds like lightning, firing off electricity with the rain clouds it carries. Raikou is another fleeing, roaming Pokemon you have to seek across Johto in order to catch, making it all the more difficult to obtain unless you had a Master Ball. Number 6. Kingdra Type Dragon and Water Powerhouse, Kingdra is arguably the most defensive Pokemon in Generation 2. Its dual type gives Kingdra only one real weakness, with an overall base stats of 540. Sporting a strong 95 base attack, 
Defense, Special Attack, and Special Defense. Kingdra is built to last lengthy battles and wear its opponents down. Regarding technical machines, Kingdra can learn Toxic, Protect, Double Team, Attract, Rest, Snore, and Sleep Talk, making it a complete defensive tank. Number 7. Crobat. As the final evolved form of Zubat, Crobat is attained after gaining high friendship with Golbat and leveling up. With base speed of 130, Crobat is one of the fastest Pokemon and will likely strike first in battles. Crobat can learn various maneuvers such as Confuse Ray, Bite, Mean Look, Giga Drain, Detect, Toxic, Double Team, and can effectively destroy its opponents over time. Its overall base stat of 535 ranks Crobat as the most statistically impressive poison type Pokemon from Generation 2. Number 8 Suicune Suicune is the third legendary beast from Gold and Silver, but also serves as the mascot for Pokemon Crystal and is more easily caught in that particular game. Sporting high base stats of both 115 defense and special defense, Suicune is not as quick as the other legendary beasts, but can withstand more damage. According to the Pokedex, Suicune races across the world looking to purify murky water and searches pure reservoir. It is a water-type tank and can effectively stall opponents through its various moves and high defensive stats. Number 9. Typhlosion As the final evolution of Cyndaquil, Typhlosion is a powerful starter Pokemon with an overall base stats of 534. It has very good speed and special attack, and can learn various moves and TMs including Flame Wheel, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Smoke Screen, Earthquake, and Iron Tail. According to its Pokedex, Typhlosion can create burning blasts and become so hot that anything that touches it goes up in flames. The second generation of starter Pokemon weren't as memorable as Generation 1, particularly with Typhlosion carrying the torch from the iconic Charizard as the resident Fire-type starter. But its stats and relatively underrated status as a potential sweeper is something to be recognized. Number 10. Celebi Celebi is basically the Mew of Generation 2. It's a small, fairy-like, psychic and grass mythical Pokemon, with an even 100 base stats in all categories, and a total of 600 base in total. Much like Mew, Celebi is only legitimately caught via special event or trade and is among the most rare Pokemon in existence. Its natural moveset include Recover, Baton Pass, Ancient Power, and Perish Song. It's a time-traveling creature and a guardian of the forest, according to its Pokedex entry. Ultimately, Celebi did not reach the same level of popularity as Mew or some of the other legendaries, but its high statistics make it one of the strongest grass Pokemon of all time. So that's it. Those were the top 10 strongest Pokemon from Generation 2. Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal from the late 90s and early 2000s. While never reaching the same commercial impact of Red and Blue, the second gen of Pokemon games featured interesting new mechanics and more improved balanced gameplay. This has been another episode of the Review Space. Stay tuned for another Top 10 list. Check out the channel for more videos, and until next time, Ciao!